we've surprising. Never seen before, so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it is interesting to see, uh, you know, a character switch this late into bracket. But when you when you do have those those dual mains, maybe even like you know, some of the, some of these people got like four or five characters. Yeah, it's it's very character dependent what you're going to play, and you know, you want to play the matchup you're most comfortable in. So, yes, certainly. Popping out the Inkling. Certainly for sure. Uh, I feel like um, I feel like the back air combos from Inkling are always on lock for sure. So just finding one back air into the dash and grab, but you do have access to the plank from Mythos, able to avoid those. If you don't space those back airs correctly, you can avoid them and then maybe even get the punishes off as well. Yeah, and pretty clean combo game so far from one. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I will be interested to see, once again, this is always how I how I think about these, these Wii Fit Trainer matches. Like, how do you deal with them in the corner? But oh, apparently, the sneaky splat, I swear I didn't even see that splat bomb coming out. It blended in with the back of the stage. Yeah, I think the splat bomb, what ended up happening was you could hit the, you see know how you can hit the soccer ball back? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like the splat bomb hit both of them, hit the soccer ball, and then just fell into the arc of the soccer ball, and you know, you just explode at that point too, so. Very, Literally, very, like a bomb. Yeah, great opening right there from Wong. And great edge guard situ situation here. Four hits each time, teched by, by Mythos, but Womp unrelenting goes all the way through that whole situation and gets an early two stock lead here all the way against Mythos. Yeah, trying to find the, maybe a reset right there with the up tilt, though. Not going to get anything here. But yeah, Womp definitely having a stellar performance. And, and this is losing life on the line. So you got to make sure that you're still alive here. You got to you gotta give it all you got because this is day two. This might be your last set of the whole tournament. Yeah, and Womp had a, a very close game five set uh, in the in the last round. So certainly something where you know it, everything was on the line and they managed to clutch up. But now, I mean, Mythos is uh, not not proven to be too uh, tough of an opponent for Womp right now. He's just running all over this Wii Fit. Yeah, I mean, I feel like every big hit that Womp is looking for is connecting. And you know, oh yeah, speaking of big hits, goodbye. <laughs> oh, one two. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, so smart. I mean. The, I feel like it's such a good chase tool, uh, especially the Wii Fit. Like if you throw the if you throw the projectiles as Wii Fit, like you're able to just hit them back and you're still charging along. So then Wii Fit is like in a fight or flight situation, and then usually more often than not you see the berry come out. So yeah, great opening using uh, different characters. You know, based on what we've seen on Start UG, you know, to make this run so far so good. I mean, this was a very very big statement first game. Yeah, I mean that was. Uh, just, a, just a great showing of all of the tools that Inkling has to offer. Great combo game, great offensive potential, really good advantage state, as well as a couple tricky options to find some early kills. And yeah, just a, an effective way of getting getting that game one and really just looking cool, calm, and collected going into the second one. Yeah, I feel like, where do you go? Like, Mito's like, uh... I don't know, man. If I get three-stock game one, I'm always like... <laughs> A little bit shook, right? You know, yeah. you have to forget about that game. You have to be like, all right, he won a game, but it's just a game. It can't affect me for this next one. Yeah. Still, it's tough. Yeah, it definitely is tough. And I mean, I feel like most people, while like while that is true, I feel like it does affect them more often than not. But so far, Mito's, you know, looking to change the scenery uh, just a little bit, right? Uh, a little bit of home decor right here on Hollaback. It's a pretty stage. Yeah, it definitely is. Def definitely great. Pretty stage, pretty music. It's great, great all overall. I'm not the biggest fan of Smashville layouts, but yeah. you know, Hollow Bash is fine. So, so far, I mean, Womp just kind of repeating the exact same thing we saw game one. Is that a spike? No, the hitbox and the hula hoop. Yeah, good, uh, good avoidance there, but still covered in this ink. Gonna take a bit of extra damage. And oh, I'm surprised we didn't see a punish there for Womp, who ended up going for a ledge slip fair instead of a instead of a jump fair. When I feel like there was a, a lot of chance to get a punish on the. On that, but now a little bit better position for Mythos to find some hits during the deep breathing as well as a couple soccer ball connections. This is looking a lot better in game two here, Oscar. Yeah, definitely looking really well. Uh, stuffing out that roller kind of just led to that entire conversion. But again, a little bit too antsy right there. Double Three. tech, no triple tech. Wait, no, he did get a triple tech. Oh. He answered back. That oh. was that was, was Wampu died. That was oh my goodness. Offstage shenanigans for sure. Uh, oh and then Womp, 72% combo. What the, what the heck is happening here? Mythos got, got answered back so hard, I thought that was all over. <laughs> okay, finally get some talk right there. But yeah, I mean, what a big statement. Good response right there from Mythos so far. Uh, you know, even if you do end up losing this game somehow, you know, you got to think like, okay, well, this is still doable. Like, clearly, 
there's things that I'm doing right that I can get a ton of mileage off of. So it's just a matter of finding those things. Right now, though, Nico's going to be looking for maybe an upkill right here. The downer actually going to do it as well, sending all the way out and now having a full stock lead. I mean, Womp now having to go in and having to really be aggressive right here. But Weefit trying to find something right there gets the downer, but no one home for it doesn't get a spike here. Still looking for uh, uh, some big hits from, from Mitos. I, I, I'm liking their aggression, but it, it is like, all right, you're 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 being aggressive, but you're playing Weepa Trainer, right? Like, know, know your times to go in. Because, I mean, still hasn't opted to sit back and get the deep breathing when they've had the opportunity to multiple times. They've instead decided to set up a ledge trap, which is, I mean, it's a it's an interesting choice. It feels like you want to have the deep breathing online, and then your future ledge traps, your future hits off stage are just so much more effective, Oscar. Yeah, certainly for sure. Definitely trying to get something right there. Like you said, that deep breathing already starting out. Looking to potentially end this game right here, especially with those big hits. But this is the upper sense right here, and there you go. One more chance at life. I mean, Womp had a really good start game one, and then slowly but surely bringing it back game two. Doesn't turn on the hitbox if getting stuffed out by the hula hoops. That, that up B hitbox definitely can be a little bit deceptive right here. But can you find something here if your Womp Mito's doing so well, not willing to good give snipe. this lead up? And okay, let's see. Uses the hula hoop, avoids the whole situation, just eats a get up attack for his trouble, but still almost getting caught with that tech chase on the roller, still hanging on to this lead quite, quite effectively. And oh, once again, canceling the deep breathing early. And up air off the top is going to do it, though. No deep breathing needed. And huge answer back after that first game with three stock. What changed in what changed in his head? Yeah, I've, I have no idea. I just feel like I feel like there was just a ton of mileage off of these like deep breathings as well. Uh, you know, we saw the we saw the dare cover, basically cover the jump in. You know, at the ledge, cover the jump in, the roll in. It just ends up sending outwards anyway. So like, it makes it that much more difficult for you to deal with, especially like where do you di right? Because usually you're used to the spike, and then it's like a fight or flight situation. But yeah, right now Mito's doing a really good job. I mean, we you know we talked about earlier, you know, Mito's having to claw their way through making some upsets according to seeding obviously definitely changes the game up when some players don't show up but Mito's trying to prove that they definitely have uh they they can earn this right to get into top 64 trying to set up one of these Womp's gonna have to answer back right here if we do see Womp go down to one though we might have to start exploring the characters which is maybe two yeah I mean like we said you know Womp does have that Aegis on lock and it is a little bit surprising to not see that in this matchup but yeah I mean right now it seems like We Fit Trainer is the is the one that is in the driver's seat for this game. A uh, little bit difficult for We Fit Trainer to punish forward facing hits on their shield. You know, you have just basically just grab to punish that. The forward air does not hit the ground at all. So unfortunate for for Mito's not able to get that punish, but oh huge jab. I mean jab just does so much for England. One of the best jabs in the game. Yeah, certainly for sure. But right now, trying to maybe find a ledge trap situation. But again, these reversals from Wii Fit are always so strong at the ledge. You know, you can just throw the soccer ball out, and then you able are able to find you know some footing right here, able to get some real estate on the stage. But right now, the splat bomb could potentially do it. And again, we talked about this before, right? Wii Fit living at the ledge, always trying to go for these reversal situations. But what can you do right here? Just we up the Almost. Not quite the kill. I mean, had the had the confirm, but still good avoidance here. Great and great tech on Womp's side, ready to hit that defensive option, even though he was the one on the aggression. But okay, still good offensive pressure. We've seen Womp be really good in these situations, but I feel like Mythos has just answered back super well in these last two games, especially after that. How crazy that first one was. Womp the looking for a back there does find it with the fastball. Really like that. Deep aggression coming out of Wong. Yeah, but just like that, Mito's responding right back, doing a really good job of not letting this lead get too out of hand, especially after winning that game number two, uh, looking to very, very much like fight their way back to this game three. And like, it's gonna be, you know, tooth and nail right here as opposed to who's gonna take this lead in the set right here, the multi jab. So, gonna do a lot of damage and set up a ledge trap right here. If you're Womp, can you find something? But no, Inkling doing a really good job, or sorry, we've been doing a really good job of making it back to the stage. And yeah, that roll and then it just immediately reversal option so strong. Oh, but the up smash gonna do it. Great stuff right there. Oh my goodness. Uh, that deep breathing definitely played a part in that. And just like that, Mito's bringing it all the way back, even though Womp looked like they were gonna take control at the beginning of this game. Yeah, but here is a roller into a reset. What are they gonna do? Oh, what? How did that grab miss? 
Oh, that, I feel, it feels like that should hit, but another roller into an up smash, and suddenly Womp is right back in this game. Yeah, just like that. I mean, neither player willing to give in really, really smart stuff, but now we get these like early roller combos into some resets potentially. That could have been very, that, very that, scary. That would have killed. <laughs> I, I, I'm confident that that would have killed on the platform with deep breathing. Up smash is, is just ridiculously strong, but double header hit into an up air and Mythos clutching out that game after such a back and forth Let's moment here. Yeah, I mean, just just like that, literally had a had a great lead for themselves. Womp bringing it all the way back and then immediately responding, you know, right there, taking the lead. I mean, Mythos doing a really good job punishing that roller as well, trying to land with that hitbox and then just waiting accordingly, throwing it out at the perfect time. And now, elimination point right now. Uh, against Womp if he cannot uh, bring this back and force it to a game five. I mean, it's so close. Mito's worked so hard. I mean, so has Womp, right? Both of these guys have made some runs, right? Mito's on the winner side before going down uh, to walk at Womp, you know, starting a little earlier than usual and losers making it all the way back. I mean, we talked about how if this is the same Womp from the past, we've seen them make some crazy upsets over some of the best players in the world. Gonna have to opt in right here and really lock in for this game four. Yeah, still catching that air dodge in and doing a ton of percent and covering Mythos and in Ink right now. If he can get any any more hits, they're gonna do extra damage here. And but still just managed to managing to get out of that situation, managing to purge most of the ink off, but just kidding, you're back to being fully covered. Yeah, absolutely so. And you know, definitely don't want to be fully covered right here. Oh, but gets through the roller, tries to throw out the jump man fair, but not gonna get anything to up air. Sneaking it right there if you're Womp, but not able to kill yet either. Man, do you see this bobbing and weaving that Mythos is doing in the sky? Like four or five different changes of directions while falling, and you really utilizing that air acceleration from Wii Fit. But now, once again, we have a deep breathing online, looking for a back air or potentially a forward hit the forward air. No, the back air is the thing that's gonna do it. And yeah, this is a huge, huge lead right now for Mythos. As long as Womp does not secure the stock right away, this is a oh. big chance. But Buya, not oh. quite. Oh, but that air drift again, like you mentioned right there, able to get through and avoid the back air. And just like that, if you can hang on to this stock just a little bit longer, but you hold on to the ledge way too long, lose your iframes right there, and just like that, back to even Stevens. Yeah, and this is a chance for Wong to come back into this game really effectively and already doing so, already having a lead. And uh, I don't know who they're cheering for, but I, I hope the, I hope they're doing well. <laughs> yeah, I believe that's BC on the other on oh, the Fox BC. player. Oh, yeah. BC. Yo, BC is so sick. Yeah, that guy's insane. But right now, Mito's trying to also, you know, make a name for themselves right here and maybe get some crowd on, on their end if there's anyone here supporting them. Astro's a reset. I mean, that's a Mexican-based organization. So definitely having, you know, the backing of an org right here going to try to maybe make something big happen here. But so far, Wong doing a really good job of just resetting the situations here, not letting it get too out of hand. One more ledge trap here could be the stock, though. Yeah, I'm liking this pressure with the soccer ball. Not falling for either of those rollers. Womp was like, if it doesn't work, try it again, man. But oh, okay, a little bit of one-two jab check. But still, the, oh, the back here sets up for a really bad position, but the hula hoops save our Wii Fit trainer as Mythos. Still in the lead. That's it backwards. What the heck? I don't know, man. Flat bomb always having some weird properties right here. So, but again, oh, but not. Ooh, I thought that I thought the header was gonna hit. Yeah, that would have been so scary. Back here gonna do it though. Man, just ledge grab, drop back airs have been so effective for Womp. Just in the right spot at the right time over and over again. And we we do hear some Womp chats in the background as they are they're still racking up this percent. It doesn't feel like the deep breathing has been anywhere near as effective this game as some of the other ones. Yeah, certainly for sure. And one of the big problems from back here, though, still, still another chance to make this deep breathing count for sure. I mean, one more chance at life right here. 34 one. damage, one move. Yeah, kind of insane for sure. But can we find something here? I mean, now both players definitely resetting. Womp maybe using the movement to stall out and wait the deep breathing timer out. But you just get it right back, and it's a back here right here. Could it? Could it be enough? Yeah, that might not be worth it positionally as three backers set up with this platform, but still able to get out of the corner, utilizing the heavy amount of shield stun coming on from that header when it's at close range. And this platform into the parry goes for the forward smash, wrong direction. Unfortunate for Mythos, but see how they get out of this position, the down smash, just a hair off. And oh, good fight out of the corner. 
Another forwarder almost gets the hit, but this is still anyone's game. Oscar, one more, one more back air could do it. Booyah? But Booyah is not here. No Booyah Kasha for you. Yeah, not yet, but one more ledge trap situation. Gets a weak down smash, sending back and deep breathing yet again. Again, living at the ledge. Oh, but the soccer ball not going in the right direction right here. But can you find something big? This is for game five or one more set or, or loser's life on the line right here. And the header is in such a good position. Going for the setup, but does manage to evade is Wong. And another roller, not going to connect. 143 versus 165, and air dodge cancels it. Oh, they're fighting in the corner so hard, but the forward tilt oh. tried to catch the read. Who died? Oh. BBC, that is Mythos. Oh my god, both players getting sent to the blast zone, but Mythos ending up being able to live that trade out just a millisecond longer, enough to put themselves into day two here at S Factor 11. Wow, what a clutch up uh, from Mythos, especially after that first game. Like, got 3 0 by Waka, got sent down to losers, and then immediately gets the restock, but still has a wherewithal, still has the oath to fight back into it. And a big cheer coming out from one of Mythos' fans, because that is that has got to be one of the biggest, you know, runs of the tournament so far. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, definitely a really, really low seed, making it all the way to the winner's qualifier, right? Going down to Waka, but still able to lock it down and not even force it to, a, not even let it go to a game five. Able to get another set win right there and able to force it to day two. I mean, you know, you, you, you get to go another day. That's like the big name of the game here. We, you know, you talked about earlier how everyone is here to try to make this happen, try to make these runs into day two happen. So, and you know, a little bit of word from the people taking care of us back here. One more set right here. Yeah, and we do actually get the chance to cast some Mao who just lost over there uh, to Mo. To Mo. Yeah, to yeah Mo. so Mao in loser's bracket here and has to fight one more match to make it out.